Hi, I'm Monica Graves, I'm the mother of eight. We have a YouTube series called Graves 8 Family Adventures. Recently we did a video where my kids had a paper airplane folding contest and we had some requests for tutorials and what book we used. We used a book just called Paper Planes. I actually can't find this online, it's an old book, but I have found some other books and paper airplane folding kits. I've linked to them down below. But today all you're going to need is some printer paper or any paper. If you don't have printer paper at home, whatever paper you have will work fine. And we're going to walk through the four favorite designs that we had in four different videos. So if you don't like this design, you can check out at the end of this or maybe I'll put a link down below that shows the other designs we did. Um, and I think let's get folding airplanes. If you enjoy this video, please like, share, and check out our Graves 8 series and subscribe if you think it's fun. All right, the first one we're going to do is the Bulldog. And this was the best, best plane that we had in our test. So it's a, quite a few steps. It's not an easy one. And let's get started with step one. First step is pretty simple. It's just folding the paper in half. If you're young and new to folding paper, make sure that you line up your corners and the sides so that you can't see so it's not overlapping, so it's nice and flat. And really make sure that your creases are tight. Step two, open it up and fold both sides in so that they line up exactly on that middle line. Once again, making sure your creases are nice and tight. And if you're young and this is your first time doing it, it might keep, take a couple tries and a lot of practice, but don't be frustrated. You'll get it. Okay, so step three. Now that you've got this all folded, take your upper corners and fold them down and use that edge, that top edge, line up on the middle edge to make another nice straight line. Mine's not perfect, but even if they're not perfect, they will fly. Man. Okay. One side, two sides. All right. Step four. We're going to take this piece here and just fold it back. It's a little bit, um, less mathematical. So you, where the point there is kind of the furthest it can be out. I guess it's a little hard to explain, but you can see it. So I guess I don't have to explain it with words and do the same thing to the other side where it just, and you'll want to check these now. So fold it. Step five is to fold it back. And so I didn't get that quite right. So I'm going to try to fix it by pulling this one up where it matches that other plane. And it might be better to fold it, oops, make sure that your crease is there. All right, so fold that side back. So now on to step six. Step six, open this up and fold this top part about an inch from here. So that there's about an inch on either side here and fold it down okay and then after that we're going to fold back up where this point lines up with the top okay so if i'm going too fast you can pause it at any time either side here needs to be folded in where this point is touching where the bottom of the center on the upfolded triangle is. So you got to do that on both sides. Pull that point down. These points are going to meet in the middle where that fold of that upper part. So this upper part, that's right there, is where they're going to meet. Okay? So then, okay, before that, we needed to fold this down, but it's okay to do it now. So we folded to where it meets that, and this top part gets opened up and we put those folds back down and then this folds back up right there. Okay. This is what your plane should look like now. So step 11, we're going to flip our paper over. It should look like this on the back and we're going to fold it in half backwards again. Okay. We should already have a crease for that. And then we are going to fold the lot, the wings out along a line that gets a little bit wider out all the way across. So let's see here. So this is kind of up to you exactly how you do this part. But that to me looks good. Shows a little more narrow in the book, but 
and then you'll flip the other side over and match that up. So you want the tops to match and match it all the way down to the end there. Okay, so now you should have a plane that looks a little bit like this. And that's it. Now you should have an awesome bulldog plane that you can throw and play with and make again and again. There are three more airplane tutorials you'll find right over here. Also, check out this video where my kids have an airplane making competition. See whose plane you folded and if you would be the winner or not. And you're looking for an airplane kit to purchase, we have some great links below where you can find those on Amazon. Happy folding.